In this video, we'll look at how to use the pivot table to find a unique count of a number of categories or items from an array. So we have some data here and we can select it as we normally would, go to insert and pivot table. And the important thing to do is tick this bottom box add this data to the data model. So we need to tick that in order to be able to access the distinct count, which will give us the unique count for the categories or the values that we're interested in. If you don't have this option, most likely is that you have got your data here and maybe a CSV file, in which case you need to save as and save it as an Excel file before proceeding. If you save it as an Excel file, you may need to close and open again, once you do that, and then you come back to insert pivot table, you should now have this option. This option doesn't appear for a CSV, but it does for an Excel file. So we'll hit OK. I've set my pivot table to open on a new page. We can see here that we have this little data range. So it looks a little bit different from how your pivot tables otherwise would. But what I can do is suppose I want to know how many sports there are. Count of sport will give me the number of observations. But in order to get the uniques, then I can just go to the value field settings by clicking the little arrow there. And when I scroll down, we've got this option distinct count. This is only available if we have added the data to the data model. It's not available just if you are doing a normal pivot table and haven't done that step. So I click OK and we can see that I now have the number 11. That's how many sports there were. For such a small data set, this could have been done other ways. I could have just put all of the names of the categories here on the right hand side and then added them up. But if we were using a bigger data set, then it gets a lot more tricky. So this has been how to count the number of unique values using the pivot table. If it's been helpful, I'll be back really soon with more videos on stats, AI, research, and random stuff.